Hi everybody, it's Mr. Wedge, and we've been talking about the artwork of Jacob Lawrence. And Jacob Lawrence paints uh, scenes with people in them, uh, and he thought the simpler the better if you were dealing with a really important, serious subject. And a lot of his artwork, most of his artwork, is about the experience of black people in the United States of America. So, um, he would do it very simple. In fact, when he made people's faces, it was just, you know, sometimes you couldn't even see a nose or anything. It was just a shape. So almost abstract. Um, and he worked kind of small. Usually he did a lot of smaller paintings, especially in the beginning. Um, and if I work real small and detailed, but I still have a lot of area I need to, to fill, because um, I'm going to use colored pencils today, I'm going to make a border first. And that, that does two things. Um, it makes a nice picture frame and it also makes it so that I don't have quite as much area to fill so it's not quite as much work I can get it done you know in, in a good amount of time and also so you can like just touch the edges you don't have to put your hands on the artwork you can just touch the sides and that's good if it's a wet painting too but if we're doing a group scene like a scene with a group of people in it what I do is I plan out where the people are gonna go first so first thing you have to do is kind of think what you want this to be about. Like I said, Jacob Lawrence's art was about the experience of black people in the United States of America. Um, I'm going to do mine about uh, a race, people running a race. So you could do, it could really be whatever you want as long as it's a bunch of people doing something together kind of thing. Or just a scene, you know, like a place where you've been, the cafeteria or the playground or something like that or a play that you went to with your family. So you could you could do a picture like this if you want, or just being at the grocery store, what it's like going to the grocery store, right? So, but the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of plan out where the people are gonna go. And I like to just push down really lightly and just put little ovals where the heads are gonna go, little ovals or circles. So I do that first, and I know that I want multiple people. Now if they're far away in the background they might be smaller. Maybe I'll have some people in the crowd because these are going to be people running in a race, right? So real lightly these are construction lines. I'm just putting in where the heads are going to go first. Um, I know I want these people running like they're racing, you know, so I might have you know rectangles for the body but when I run I kind of lean forward a little bit. So that's why I'm kind of drawing their bodies leaning like this and if you draw really lightly then you can erase it later that's why it's a construction line right um, let's see what else this person in the background might be just standing like normal so and you can see I used a trapezoid I made it a little bit smaller at the waist than it is at the shoulders so there's another trick but right now I'm just going around to every place that there's a, a head and I'm putting a body under it and that or the torso that's just a rectangle. So, and this is a person running too, I think. So I decided what I wanted to draw. And then I'm just going to go through and put some shapes in to represent the bodies and the heads. Uh, these people are going to be running. So I can put some rectangles here for legs. And you could look at people in motion and just see what the movement of their bodies like and see the shapes of things. Really we just want shapes right now and I'm doing it really lightly like I said because I'm probably going to erase this stuff later. So for the hands um, I, I'm doing these just circles because they're fists, you know, when you run, I, I don't know, I have my hands in a fist when I run, but these people's hands, they're cheering, so their hands are going to be out like this, so if you think about it, it's just a rectangle with a, a thumb sticking out the side, so, and when you hold your hands over your head, your thumbs are up, so that's why I'm just drawing it like that, just two shapes, a, a big shape and a small shape for hands, and that's that's as simple as it can be, maybe this person's waving, Maybe I'll bend the arm like this. Um, if it's going to go off the paper, just have it go right off the paper like that. And don't worry about it if it's the right size or not because um, Jacob Lawrence would change the size of things depending on 
or if he wanted something more important, he would draw it bigger, that kind of thing. And right now what I'm doing is kind of going down and pushing down a little harder, making things a little darker once I know the shape I want. So, maybe, you know, the back of the head is curved and then it comes down for the neck. So you could do that. Now that I know where the head is, I could start to make it look like a head. Here's a nose and then a chin and, you know, this comes down. So you can start to do things like that. Um, shapes. We're just talking about shapes right now. So I'm still, I'm going to keep going and you can add things and change things as you go. But we just want shapes of a group of people doing some activity. I figured out where I wanted people and I just used circles, uh, rectangles, and triangles basically for the whole thing. But you can see now I'm starting to push down a little bit harder and I'm starting to figure out where I want um, you know, my lines to be and where I don't. And then I can uh, push down real hard for the lines I want and then for the ones I don't, I can just go through and erase, just like that. And you can see I added other stuff too, like a banner and a sign. Um, maybe I'll have somebody holding the sign, like this. Here's their thumb and their hand goes behind it. And you'll get, you'll get good at it as you go to the point where you might not even need to outline things anymore. You just get used to drawing people. But if you start out lightly, it definitely helps erase later. It helps you erase later. So I'm going to go through, make everything I want dark, and get rid of anything I don't want. So I uh, pushed down hard everywhere that I wanted to and I changed the shapes as I went and I got it to where I like it and uh, then I went through and erased anything that was light that I didn't want anymore, right? So now all I have to do is go through and color this and I, because I made a border I don't have quite as much to color but um, you don't have to color this the right way, we just want solid colors so the shapes are just going to be filled with solid colors in the Jacob Lawrence style. I'm going to use colored pencils. You could use markers, you could use paint if you have it, but um, just want this whole thing to be co colorful. So here I go. So I use a lot of straight lines in this drawing, um, except on the heads I curved them. Uh, but pretty much everything else is straight except that, you know. But I wanted it to look like a banner. You probably noticed I jumped around a lot when I colored it. Um, so if I had, um, uh, I don't know, if I had orange, you know, I'd put orange here, 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 here. Just so it's not all in the same spot and that gives the piece unity. Makes it look like everything's, you know, working in harmony, working together. Um, I did the background too, I colored everything, and it took a while, but I, that's because I went slow and careful and tried to stay inside my shapes as best I could so there could be solid shapes. And it's okay to leave some white too, but you just want to do it on purpose. So I left the banners and the signs white because they're paper, you know, and people's shirts and shoes sometimes. So, And just I used Unity for that too. And also, oh, what else was I going to say? Um, 
Oh, skin color. So, skin people's skin doesn't have to be the right color. Any neutral color or warm color will work for this. So, black, white, brown, gray, uh, red, orange, yellow, pink, anything like that would work for a skin color. Not everybody's skin's the same anyway, right? That's what makes the world so interesting. So, um, try to do some shapes. Do at least three people and try to come up with a scene and then color it in all just solid like I did. All right, work hard, have fun.